Boys, we've got a lady in the house. Ooh! I gotta be my best dress for the ladies. Hang on one second. Yeah, if I would have, if I would have known there were ladies watching these videos, I would have, I would have dressed way nicer and been way less crude in all my videos. What's popping, y'all? It's I'm not wearing this stupid fucking cap. Uh, what's popping, y'all? We are doing taking a look at Jalen Hurts. I haven't, I don't think I've looked at Jalen Hurts yet. He's obviously had quite the season, um, and had quite a good game against the Giants. Pretty much played perfect, to be honest. I don't think he did anything that special during the game. Not to say that he's not special, but like their scheme is just so good. Their offense, like the offensive personnel, is just so good. And uh, he's just a freak athlete. So you know, like shit. Sometimes it's just easy. Let's take a look at it. All right, what do we got here? How do I? Uh, oh God, sorry, ladies. All right, let's hop into this. So uh, this first play, not I'll admit, not very significant in terms of like yardage or like spectacle or anything, but it does play into a later play that I'll be showing. Um, and both plays again, like nothing that crazy, not nothing like spectacular. But I just kind of want to show how you can use one play to set up another play, and how it can, you know, that, that's that's how offenses in the NFL run. A very successful offense is able to do this very well. But this is a quick RPO read. Uh, the pass ends up going to, I believe this is Goddard going out in a route. Uh, but you have AJ Brown. I think he's running like an out route or maybe just blocking or something. I don't know. You have a little out route in the flat by Goddard and the reads going to be your flat defender. So it's going to be probably this guy. I mean, it could be this dude or this, they could run over here. For, I mean, for all I care, like I've seen defenses bring a damn safety down to play the flat. So probably going to be this dude right here though and uh Jalen Hurts sees that this guy does not go out to uh, to guard Goddard so he's got a wide open Goddard and uh you know that's how you get yards pulls the ball throws it you got Goddard against uh this poor lad who uh got his got his face ripped off <laughs> and um yeah I mean that's an easy easy nine ten yards right there all right next play this is another you know Nothing spectacular by Jalen Hurts once again. He just kind of like makes the right play, which is you don't need to make a spectacular play every play. Tom Brady, most of his plays aren't like, you know, he doesn't look like a spectacular athlete or a spectacular thrower out there. He just makes the right play. And that's all you really need from your quarterback sometimes, especially when you have a freak athlete of a quarterback. But this is something called a stick concept. Usually it's run like this, right? You have a go route on top. Instead, they do a switch stick concept, and what that adds is a little bit of rub. All right, a little bit of, a little bit of rubbing. So that way, if they're playing man coverage, you know that rub makes it significantly more difficult to guard. It functions basically as a pick play. Um, and uh, this is honestly, this is more a lesson in like defensive schematics. Now, I am by no means an expert in defense, or really an expert in like anything at all. Um, but for the most part, I think you, you're not supposed to have two defenders at the same level because it makes these pick plays so easy. Usually you're going to have one sitting like a couple yards back or something. That way it's much harder for them to like rub and do these kind of rub plays and pick plays. Because uh, when you're like this, right, when you're at the same level and they're running this pick play, it, it, you can't guard this. Like this is physically impossible unless you're able to pass it off properly, which I, like I don't know what the rules on that are, but... Like, you can't guard that, right? Goddard kind of saves Jalen Hurts a little bit with a one-handed catch. But still, I mean, he made the right read, made it through a catchable ball, and uh, he's got a really good tight end. All right, next play, another RPO. They seem to like these. This is um similar to some stuff I ran in college, but they didn't. we didn't do it out of this formation. I think, I want to say it's Tennessee that runs this kind of formation all the fucking time. Um, it's like stack, you know, st stack bunches on the, on the outside. Um, what the play is, is you got to run play up the middle. You can hand it off. If he decides to pull it, what he's going to do is he's going to read this guy. If he dives after the running back, he's going to pull it out. Basic zone read shit. Uh, but a little added wrinkle here is that AJ Brown's going to be doing a little, uh, smoke route. And then you got Goddard out here blocking. Um, so if, uh, if one of these dudes decides to run in after Jalen Hurts, then he just tosses it out to A.J. Brown, and he has A.J. Brown and Dallas Goddard against, you know, a, a corner or something, which is uh, usually a recipe for disaster. But they both stay out and guard the receivers, which uh, puts them in a bad position. 
you basically just got to hope that this safety can get downhill a lot faster, which he doesn't. And um, you still like Jalen Hurts against a safety, to be honest. Nine yards, easy money. All right, next play. The play right after, I want to say, actually. Maybe two plays after. Another RPO. They love these things. Very, very similar to the last one. You got Sanders up the middle, and you got A.J. Brown blocking here. Devontae Smith is going to be running that smoke route. Um, now, I want to say technically this is actually the wrong read, right? Because this is two-on-two two out here. Usually not a great recipe for like a smoke route, especially considering that they're both very close. Like maybe if one of these guys was back here, then it'd be a, you know, a very, very good read. But with them so close to the line of scrimmage, this is like technically the wrong read. But when you have A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith at receiver, you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want to do. So he just takes this thing and throws it anyway. Another thing that I do want to point out is um, and it, this might just be me because I wasn't as I'm not as good a quarterback as Jalen Hurts, which I mean, obviously, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm not fucking playing in the NFL, but um, I like the running back on this side and for him to do like a little cutback like that. And the reason for this is that, <clears throat> and I know this is mostly supposed to be a pre-snap read, but when the running back's over here and he's running this way, the quarterback has to turn his back. He has to face this. He has to turn his back to the actual concept out here, and he can't really make a, a post-snap read. So say like this guy blitzes last second, Jalen Hurts can't really see that. So I'd prefer to have the running back over here and for him to kind of do a little cut back instead. That's just me. I mean, what do I know? Good stuff though. Works out. Gets it out there, and you just got I mean, you got two beasts out there. So just if you got two on two with them, even if it's like the wrong read, just just throw it. This next play, remember earlier when I said that I was going to show you a play just so that I can show you how it set up another play in the future. Um, this is another RPO. You know, you got this guy in here. I'm not even focused on what they're reading to be honest, or what Jalen Hurts is reading here. I just want to showcase this route. So. You got A.J. Brown out here doing a little go or a little blocking or something. And so our last play, right? We had Goddard do this little flat route, correct? This time, he runs the flat route, fakes it, come back inside. That's awesome. I love that. That is such a cool wrinkle. That's, I mean, that just, it's, if you're able to set it up properly, that's an easy six yards at least. And I think he gets like 10 here, but it's, uh, I mean, it's great stuff. I think what he's looking for is he's looking for if these linebackers dive down, which obviously they do, that means he's got the middle of the field open. He's got Goddard running this little flat return kind of thing. He pulls it out of Boston Scott's stomach, gives him a toss, and uh, Goddard almost gets it, but he gets tripped up at the last second. That's all good, though. Really, really good play design. All right, now this, I'm I, again, I'm not saying this to diminish anything Jalen Hurts did at all. Um, besides him just like being really fast and really athletic, nothing from like a quarterback standpoint super impressed me during this game. Um, but this play right here was probably his best throw of the game. I, actually, it was his best throw of the game. I think it was dropped though. So they're running an out route with Devontae up here. Devonta, Devontae, whatever it is. He puts it right on the money, and this is a uh, so he sees he's got he's got one on one out here, and um, I believe this guy blitzes. So he's got one on one with an elite wide receiver, or I guess borderline elite wide receiver, and he throws this thing so well timed. Look at this! Look at this ball is already where is it at? Already out of his hand, and Devonta is just getting out of his cut, and that's perfect. I mean, that's unguardable, right? You can't you can't guard a team that's gonna be able to throw throw routes like that. That's beautiful. Now I know it was dropped and everything, but still. All right, so that's uh that's pretty much it. I mean, that uh, that Eagles offense is humming. I think they're up against the 49ers, so that'll be a fun matchup. We'll see. That'll be their toughest test of the year by far. Um, I'm excited to watch it. My one like gripe with Jalen Hurts is he has this like weird squat thing he does when he like goes to catch the snap. And like it looks kind of strange, but you know, and it seems insignificant, and it probably is insignificant. But you know, my one thing with that is if he wants to throw like really quick passes, you know, he wants to throw some like quick two yard out routes on time or whatever, or like quick slant routes, you know, it could mess up his accuracy going from like basically like a three quarter squat to having to stand upright. So I don't really know like why he does that, but a it's working so far. So all power to him. But that's pretty much it.